spreading the love and warmth in the heart of winter. That's how members of the Sung Ching Ling Foundation in Cape Town have marked Nelson Mandela's birthday. Bearing blankets, clothes and heaters for the 120 children who live here at the SOS Children's Village. It's so heartwarming for us to be able to have the support of the Chinese community here locally. They've gone above and beyond. Um, for us, we ha we're having the party today, even though Madiba is not around, we're still benefiting. It's a legacy that he's left behind, and the children that he so cared for are now benefiting. Members of this Chinese community say it's important for them to participate in initiatives which help improve the lives of poor and vulnerable South Africans, especially children. For me, as the official representative, I think it's a good chance to take this occasion to promote the friendship between South Africa and China. And I think for the local Chinese community here, today it's a very good chance for them to give their return to the local society here. We, we know that today is a very important day and uh, they need uh, support. That's why we're coming to uh, organize uh, like a blanket, 120 blanket and, uh, and uh, 15 heaters and, uh, and, and a lot of the winter clothing to support the children. As Nelson Mandela said, um, making the differences in our hands and that is what we are doing for the children, the orphan and vulnerable children that SOS Children's Villages support. We're continuing with his legacy. It's a fitting tribute to Madiba a champion for children's rights who would have turned 99 this year. Hey! Renard Alcalm, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa. Let's get to you more now on Nelson Mandela Day and its significance. I'm joined live from my Johannesburg studios by Minka Statler, a political analyst at the Institute of Race Relations. Minka, welcome to Africa Live. How important is it to remember Nelson Mandela's legacy for South Africans and the world? It's incredibly, incredibly important. He showed very, very great leadership, which many South Africans today feel is lacking in our government. So his legacy means even more now, and it's just growing in, in importance. And the way in which he conducted himself with dignity, and the way in which he also showed that transformation can take place in a non-racial way, and how he also, in one person, uh, joined and managed to really um, uh, uh, unify a country when he was alive. Right, and let's talk about the values that Nelson Mandela embodies. So the main values are one of service and, and how he really had a, a servant heart for his people, for the people that he led when he was president, but even before that, when he was in, 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 imprisoned on Rob, Robben Island and, and um, how he led people through servant leadership. And then there's also, of course, integrity, great, great, great integrity that inspired people. And of course, I've already mentioned by dignity. If we think of Nelson Mandela, we think of someone who epitomized dignity. And um, that's something that means a lot to South Africans. And many South Africans in this time are turning to memories of Nelson Mandela of, uh, uh, to hold on to hope and to remember what South Africa can be. A lot has changed in South Africa since 1994. Is the country moving in the right direction? So at our institute, we do a lot of socioeconomic research, and we've actually found that, uh, for example, there are many more people living in formal houses, many more people that uh, uh, can use electricity for cooking, for example, and many have access to some form of running clean water. So in that respect, there are certain things that go, uh, have been going better on a national level. But in terms of the economy, uh, that's really not going well at all. And um, very, very high unemployment. If you look at the expanded employment, unemployment rate, it is around 56%, which is really, really high, and especially amongst our youth. And in that respect, South Africa is definitely not going in the right direction. And you know what? The, the poorest of the poor are left behind. And it, it's really very sad because it's also the poorest of the poor uh, that suffered the most under apartheid. So one would want to see a stronger economy, we would want to see jobs being created so that um, South Africa does a turnaround and looks towards a brighter future.